Uh, okay, that's now that we just spent ten minutes bad talking Linux, so oh, more than ten minutes actually. Yeah. <laughs> YouTube may not let us publish that. I don't know. Um, I don't want y'all to think we're all anti Linux or anything, because um, uh, we both very much like Linux. So let me show you a good thing that a good Linux distro can do. This is my old IBM. I will never buy another IBM because IBM is an IBM anymore. They're at Lenovo. <laughs> but as you'll see in a minute here, my IBM is pretty fucked up. As you can see, by the operating system not found, <laughs> black screen, the uh, hard drive is pretty much screwed up. The dual bolt drive, both with Linux, KDE Linux, and uh, Windows XP on it. So, now let's stick a Linux Live CD in the drive. and reboot. And watch a little bit of geek magic. <laughs> Now, yeah, there are plenty of softwares that'll do, you know, that'll help with this problem. Some of which are free and some of which aren't. But one of the things I like about this Linux distro and a lot of Linux distros is that it does them for free because this is like many Linux distros free. And while it doesn't necessarily do it as well as the paid apps, it does do it. So in a second here, as it goes through the startup tasks, you know, it'll load stuff. It'll detect the devices. And because the hard drive is so fucked up, in a second here, it'll get stuck. Okay, and gentlemen, as you can see, we're now to the HW Detect Detecting Drive Partition section. And here's where it will go a little nuts in a second. So you can see from this little shit here, it found the bad sectors and did a little tweak on them. Now, typical live CD fashion, you know, to get into this build of Linux. That's a tele kind of keyboard I have so that I can understand to be logging in.
For all you PC users, I recommend getting a true KDE distro that actually has everything set up similar to like it is in Windows. This is a good hybridization of the old style and the newer style that Vista and Windows 7 continue to use. But the important thing I was showing off here is that when you have a good built-in data recovery, although sometimes if you have bad sectors on your drives, you know, a drive as screwed up as mine, you can still get all the files back. Now you saw my drive did before. Now I'm going to, instead of screen with these here, I'm going to actually show you what it did for me. If I needed to, I could have copied all the files though from there to a removable media or something to back them up. However, because it has repaired the corrupt sectors of the drive, this little miracle happens when I restart the drive in that it'll actually load. And now both Windows and Linux can be booted into. So, it's a great little thing. The, in case you're wondering what distro I use, this is the current distro of PC Linux OS, which can be found at PCLinuxOS.com. It does a pretty good job of recovering drives and bad sectors automatically just booting from the live CD. Uh, there were only a few sectors corrupt on this drive, but this drive has been on its last legs. Depending on how many sectors are corrupt, it can take anywhere from a few minutes like this one did to hours. It also depends on the size of the drive and how much data is corrupt. Uh, I do want to point out something to people before you go all nuts and go, ooh, ah, I don't have to buy any data recovery programs. If you can afford to, you're better off recovering a data recovery, you're better off buying a data recovery program, something like uh, SpinRide or any of the dozens of data recovery uh, valid data recovery programs. On the whole, they cost about a hundred bucks. Most of them you need a Windows PC to actually burn the bootable disk. If they won't let you burn a bootable disk, then you need another computer to take the drive out and plug it into. Uh, the advantage to a live CD is it's free. The disadvantage is it just removes, it, it basically tells the drive to ignore the bad sectors, which is fine if it's only a few sectors. It may corrupt a file or two as long as it's nothing critical. Odds are the system will still boot. Worst case scenario from the live CD Linux, you can copy all your data and re-image the drive or get a new drive if the drive's on its last legs. If, however, it's massive sections, paid applications like SpinWrite will go in there and read many more times. Uh, this tends to give up after about 20 reads or so, and then it just declares it a bad sector. If 92% of the bits in the sector are still readable, professional paid data recovery apps will only delete the 8% that's unusable. This deletes the whole sector. I mean, it doesn't actually delete it, but it tells it to ignore it so it can still boot up and work properly. So, however, you know, if you're keeping regular backups and you just want to see if you can get your computer working for those last few things that weren't backed up since your last backup, a Linux CD really is the best and cheapest way to do it in that it's free.